So this is the little project board with the with the accelerometer. Here's the accelerometer from the robot. And this is just a LED display. This is a microcontroller. And over here is the power supply. Really cheesy power supply, but it works. Okay, and the power comes on. The microcontroller goes through a little bit of a wait process before it starts the program. So here it comes, it's on. Now you see it's showing 90 degrees. The accelerometer has three axes. The, the Z axis comes straight out of the table here. The X axis is parallel to the table to the back. And the Y axis is parallel to the table to the right. So what I've done is I'm just taking the, the Z and the Y values and from those I'm calculating the angle that this thing is sitting at. You see it's sitting at 90 degrees right now. And if I rotate it up, it gradually goes up to different degrees. So we can easily have it sit on 45 degrees without too much effort. Yeah, And then 0 degrees is straight up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There's 0 degrees. It disappears at 0 degrees. Probably from math error. Now, this will actually go full 360 degrees, so negative degrees this way. And it will actually go to negative 180 degrees on this axis. And then that will wrap around to positive 180 degrees on the other way. So it can actually sense the full 360 degrees of turning, although we'll probably only need 90, 90 degrees on the robot. We'll probably just need it to be able to go up like that, set our angle to 60 degrees, and then fire. Or set your angle to 45 degrees if you want to get a long shot. So that's pretty much it.